This week on eTalk, we discuss our favorite Thanksgiving traditions, we share our thoughts on Taylor Swift's new album, and senior Brooke Lowry is here to talk about her new fashion line, Brooklyn Street. All that and more, coming up. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to eTalk, where we talk everything from LA to Elon. I'm Allie, here with Megan, Courtney, and our special guest host, Charlotte. Let's jump right into all the hot gossip of the week. Okay, Hi. so this weekend everyone was talking about Taylor Swift's new album, and some people actually like Taylor, but other people like some me. People we're here for Kim, <laughs> looking to see what should we talk just, about. Like, support them both. Yeah, but I'm also Team Kim. So <laughs> on the day of the release, Kim had to be petty, and she posted an Insta snap of her and Katy Perry together. She went to Katy Perry's concert. She even brought North. What are your thoughts on this? You know, I um, love them both, <laughs> so it puts me in a pickle. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're in the middle. Like, I, I, like, like, I don't know what to do. It's like a constant media competition between the Kardashians and Taylor Swift. Yes. Like, who's going to win 2017, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I feel like Taylor Swift kind of came at, the, at Kim and Kanye in the whole album, so Kim had to do something. Yeah, I was just waiting. I was like, what is she going to do? What is she going to do? TikTok. And then it was her and Katie, and I was like, yes. If she could have been more petty. She could have, but I mean, the bad blood situation with Katie and then Kim being with Katie on the day at the oh, concert. So I didn't think about that. Singing factor. the lip sync, like lip singing while Katie's singing during her concert. Like she was doing everything. I feel like there have been more direct attacks in the back, in, in the past. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, in other news, Kardashians can't stay out of the spotlight. Of um, course. <laughs> we still don't know anything about the Kylie pregnancy, but she did Except post... Except that she's pregnant. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> she did post another picture on Snapchat. This of time, course. she was driving and she had a huge rock on her ring finger. Mm. A, lot, a lot of people think that's engagement ring. How many times did we see this with Tyga? That's think, true. Yeah. And it I was think, a promise mm. ring. But, Somebody. like with the pregnancy it rumors on top of this and like none of it's been denied yet mm -hmm. either they're really teasing it out and it's false and they're gonna drop something Yo, else or it's they, gotta be true if they it are just letting all of this happen and it's not true mm -hmm. i'm gonna be so mad yeah i'm gonna be pissed like actually or they could also just be like saying they're engaged because anyone can say they're engaged there's no commitment there yeah. they could just be this whole stunt and then they call it off you know or they break up, you never know. Well, speaking yeah. of engagement news, um, Steph Curry's younger sister, Seidel, who, went, who graduated Elon last year, just got engaged to Damian Lee, who Ooh. plays on the Santa Cruz Warriors. So that's an actual engagement. Yeah. <laughs> and it's related to I Elon. Know, Some real confirmed fun. news. Yes. <laughs> confirmed news. They are and so cute together. They even have like a little dog. Well, it's not little, it's actually a big dog. But his name is Quavo. It's so cute. And oh so she gosh, was named Quavo. Oh That's so, so fun. And she was a volleyball star here. Yeah. Her brother is a basketball player. Now yes. she's, she's engaged, engaged to a basketball NBA player, player, which is yeah. super cool. No, I, Huge sports family. I think it's so fun, too, that we can like relate all this back to Eve. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's so fun and super exciting. Yeah. Like you said, I don't follow sports, but I follow engagement. Yeah. <laughs> and wedding. Was this you or you? I don't know. I'm quoting one of you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's always cool when Elon makes a national spotlight. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Yes. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. In other news, the celebrity oh no no of the week in my own opinion, is a yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> Rita Ora went to the EMAs, yes. the MTV EMAs, wearing a towel and a robe. And let me just tell you, this girl looked so glam. She had on a necklace that was huge. It really pulled the look together. Like, I was here for it. Um, it was so pretty. And she's like the queen of going out of the box, kind of. And this was so her. So I was here for it. I think it's cool if you're just doing it to like be bold and put yourself out there, but mm. like realistically, not really something I would wear, even for like a red carpet event. Like, why is this yeah. like a yes for you? Um, it just she rocked it. Like she, she just looked, looked great. Glam. <laughs> okay. Because okay. she wore a robe to the red carpet and she looked good. Yeah, she used to look flawless. Have you seen the towel series? 
No. no. On Instagram, like all the biggest models, Gigi Hadid, I'm pretty sure Kendall Jenner's done it. Mm. It's this big thing with, I don't know the photographer's name, but an incredible Hollywood photographer. It's called the Towel Series, so they all look super glam. They're wearing a towel on their head, and it's just like the epitome of what Hollywood should be. Mm. It's beautiful. It's, it's classy. It's so artistically done. And Rita Ora brought it to life on a red carpet. Yeah, Has she done her inspiration or something? Yeah, this? like this towel series. I don't know. That's what <laughs> Is she trying to like make a statement or just yeah. did it last do it for night? Fun? Yeah. <laughs> If she, I mean, she probably is trying to like make a statement yeah. on like Hollywood. She or is probably or just trying to make it a statement, but yeah, I don't mm. know. People weren't happy about it. You weren't happy about it. Mm. I mean, I think it's interesting, but I think it's just one of those things you do to get people talking about you. Yeah, it like I've never been particularly passionate about wearing towels. <laughs> Can't say I don't really see what like the like cause behind it would be. Yeah, but. she has to have something coming up. It's yeah. like it's like if. Um, you were getting ready and your face was super glam but you ran out of time to do your hair so she just ran your dress out. <laughs> and your dress just like didn't work out anymore like someone ripped it or something it's and interesting you can wear the robe and the yeah. towel it could be like a statement on like you don't have to wear like a fancy dress to like look, look good. good like yeah. you don't have to like spend all this money in order to like rock the red carpet I don't know Mm. Could be something. But like how that. much did that towel cost? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what we need to know. That looked like it was a Hilton towel. It wasn't I mean, it, it would probably go on eBay for like a million dollars now. Let's yeah. be real. Yeah. No, like I said, she she killed it. I loved it. Some people on the internet were just like, what? Yeah. But yeah. I, I was all about it. Yeah. Coming up, we asked students in Mosley what questions they're least looking forward to hearing this Thanksgiving break. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. I do not love him. children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Hey guys, I'm Madison. And I'm Rachel. Happy Thanksgiving. Whoop, whoop. This is the time of year where you're with your family. They ask you questions you don't want to answer. Rachel, what don't you want to answer? Probably what happened to my leg. She don't want to be saved. <laughs> she don't. Let's ask Elon students what questions they don't want to answer. Hey guys, I'm here with my pal Mariana and we're talking about which questions we hate to hear from our family members this holiday season. Which question just drives you up a wall? What are your summer internships looking like? <laughs> I hate that because I'm like, it's November and I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow, never mind this summer. So that's the worst. So I know my family, every year, they're like, where's the boyfriend? I'm like, ah, TBD. Anyways, what questions are you looking forward to not answering from your family this year? Um, any questions 
about my love life specifically. I feel like that's a really good one. It emphasizes the loneliness. <laughs> All right, so Sarah, which question do you just hate to get from aunts, uncles, grandma, grandpa, whoever, over the holidays? I hate that they always ask me, oh, how are your grades? How are your classes? Because most of my professors haven't even posted grades at this point. Yeah, and I just don't think I want to know, you know? Well, just like this semester, we're phoning it in. See you after break, you talkers. Look what you made us do, Taylor. With the release of Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, social media has gone crazy. And we weren't ready for it. Not at all. So, my favorite tweet, personally... I love this one. Sorry, Reputation isn't by Taylor Swift. This is T-Swift. She dropped a major T on this album. I think every song has some kind of hint at her personal life in the past couple of years. And yeah. I think this is what Taylor fans have been waiting for. You know, it's interesting because all of her past albums have been right. all about the guys that she's been with. Right. Which is kind of what I expected with this album. Mm -hmm. When her and Calvin, Calvin were together, right. I just wanted an album about Calvin. Yeah. But this is so much better. Right, and I think you get so a lot of more, you get a lot more insights on her life than you did from 1989, which yeah. I like. <laughs> I love this tweet. It's actually me. Me trying to sing all the songs off Reputation at the same time because I just love them all so much. I don't think I can pick one favorite song off that album. Really? I've been listening to it all weekend, and I have some favorites, but I, I cannot pick one favorite to choose. You know, choose. I really like... Um it, did, I did something bad. I love that one. So good. I was driving around campus today and I was like... It's like a trap anthem. Like she's really right? diversifying it's her genres. So good. It's so good to know because she was very like plain before but now she's she has this more mature sound and I love she it. She just, she's clapping back. She is. So this one's so good too. Calvin got what he deserved. He got nothing. nothing. I completely disagree. I wish that there was more about Calvin mm -hmm. just because I've been waiting for it since I saw her. Right. In concert mm -hmm. during 1989, mm -hmm. I've been wanting that, but mm -hmm. you know, a lot's happened in the last two years. There has. So. I know one song was about her, like talking about uh, uh, one of the songs that she ghost wrote, but other than that, there was nothing on Calvin. No, nothing on Calvin. Next up, we see how celebrities celebrate Thanksgiving. Stay tuned. Even celebrities enjoy turkey and pumpkin pie. Today, Carmen Sita and Carly are here to share how some of our favorite celebrities celebrate Thanksgiving. So, where do we want to start? <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about Sarah Geller and Freddie Prince Jr. Mm -hmm. You might not know about them by their names, but they are the couple from Scooby Doo, Daphne yeah, I love and Fred, Scooby and they're married in real life. Yes. What? Are you kidding yes. me? <laughs> that? So I didn't even know it, but yes, it is so cute. Oh my um, so they Too actually. Much chemistry. <laughs> Wait, so do you have like a Scooby-Doo obsession? Because what is it she Scooby-Doo for Halloween? I don't. They're yeah, just yeah. so cute. They're I just so cute. Know. But yeah. it's actually a throwback post. Mm -hmm. It's super cute and classic. They have aprons on. Um, they yeah, have, like, they a have like a turkey. It was like really normal yes. and everything. And it shows how much they've changed because it was like their first Thanksgiving ever together. So mm. they were like so TBT? young. Yes, it was so adorable. And the caption was so mm -hmm. cute. So, speaking of here? like... Oh, Disney and All Stars. So, Larry Duff, like my favorite Disney character. Lizzie McGuire. So, she posted recently like a picture of her and like her family, mm -hmm. uh, like with a big like tree because of like November and like Christmas vibes. So, it's re it was really cute. Oh, and even so cute. her and her husband got divorced. And yes, and still he's in the picture friendly. actually. So it's just really cute. The whole family, her sister was in it. Yeah, yeah and she yeah, has like really. a cooking show. Mm -hmm. So for mine, I love the Kardashians, and Kylie always is the queen of throwbacks. So she oh God, yes. posted a picture She's with my the fave. whole family. Even Rob was there. Um, Kendall, Chloe, the whole clan. I just love them so much. They're, They're so, so cute. They're such a good was that like 2010, like throwback? Like it was really, really cute. I saw them on Instagram. And I was yeah, like, I can't like, wait to like, see double like. so what cute. pictures they post next mm -hmm. week after Thanksgiving. Yes, me too. Next up, Sari shows us some workouts we can do at home over the holidays. Don't go anywhere. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. 
See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed, and they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs, and it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. I rescued Toast from a shelter in 2011. I love Toast because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? B, console her. Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome to We Talk Health. I'm Sadi, We Talk's fitness expert. Today I'm joined by Juan, Carmencita, and Ariana. We're going to show you some easy workouts that you can do at home to help you burn off some of those extra calories you may get from Thanksgiving break. All right, so we're going to get started with burpees. All right, so Juan is going to show us how a burpee is done, and then you also have the modified version, which he's very familiar with. All right, so we start from the Round, and then you jump. And we're gonna do five of those. All right, so let's get started. And we go. <laughs> Bright piece. Three more, let's go. One, and the last one. All right, now we <laughs> get that adrenaline going. All right, so now we're gonna do lunges, and we can do reverse lunges. And for those, we stand in place and then we go back and we do our lunge. And then you come back and then you do the other leg and you do five on each leg. All right, keep going now. <laughs> five on each leg. All right, how do you guys feel? You guys feeling good? Okay, they're not talking. That means it's getting to them. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so we're going to do one more of that, and the other leg, and now we stop, and, okay, one is doing an extra one there, <laughs> putting an extra one. Um, we're gonna do lay down push-ups, which are my favorite ones, because they're easy, but they actually work your muscles a lot. All right, let's get started. Lay down push-up. We do Superman, that's what we call. Then we start Superman, yeah, and then you do the push-up. All right, we're gonna do five of those. Do your Superman, <laughs> it's needed so you can rest and then you do your push up. Yes, I don't know if you guys are counting but I think we're just gonna do two more. <laughs> One, and come up. Be careful when you get up, don't injure anything. All right, and then we're going to do five sumo squats. Let's get started. Sumo squats, we go here. Make sure you keep your back straight, okay? We go here. Some squats. Leg straight. Try to reach down to the ground so that way you're really pushing yourself. All right. Do three more. They're good for the thighs. Three more. And one. And 
Um, so for those, I usually do 10 of each workout, and that should be two rounds of the entire thing. That's all the time we have for today. Next up, we whip up some Thanksgiving side dishes in the eTalk kitchen. Hey eTalkers, it's Mary Grace here, and I am so excited that Thanksgiving is just around the corner and we get to consume so many great foods. So a good thing is that Brussels sprouts are now in season, which means they're cheaper, they're more available at grocery stores, and they will be a great side dish for your Thanksgiving meal or throughout this entire fall season. Today we're going to prepare them with a little olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, um, salt, pepper, and honey. It's going to be delicious and it'll be great for you this entire holiday season. It's a healthy and delicious side dish, so let's get started. Roasted and they're beautiful. They smell delicious. I really want to try these. It only took about 10 or 15 minutes, so it's so easy for to make. And let's give it a try. Mmm, so good. It's very sweet with the honey, but then you also have the balsamic flavor. It's so great. It definitely should be on your Thanksgiving table this year. So thank you for watching and back to the studio. Got a quarter? I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. to me. I am captain of the track team. And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah, I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. Texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. This week, Elon student Brooke Lowry is here to tell us more about her experiences starting Brooklyn Street, an online women's boutique. Brooke, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So can you start off just to tell us kind of what the inspiration behind Brooklyn Street was? Yeah, so Brooklyn Street originally began as a fashion blog and when I was in high school. And so kind of as I got older, I wanted people that were following me and following me on Instagram to be able to shop kind of my style and the clothes that I had. So I wanted to just kind of build an online store that reflected kind of like who I am as a person and like also where I've kind of derived all of my fashion inspiration over the years. So you had a pop-up shop recently. How yeah. long have you been open now? 
Um, so we've been open a, like three weeks now, so still like pretty new. Um, we did the pop-up shop right before it launched online, so that way a lot of Elon students could come in and shop and kind of get an idea of like what Brooklyn Street is about as a brand. Yeah, and so this is one of your pieces. Can you yeah. talk a little bit more about what kind of stuff you have in your line? Yeah, so I really wanted everything to be classic and something that any girl could incorporate into their style. And so I started off with just like a blouse, a dress, a cardigan, and like another sweater. So this is the blouse and it has like really pretty big flowy arms and it ties in the front and I wanted to keep it black and simple, kind of like dress up or dress down type of situation. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. And obviously you're tackling all of this as a student as well. What has been <laughs> the most challenging part of all of that? I think just balancing it, being like in my senior year, wanting to go out with my friends and enjoy that, doing schoolwork, and then also trying to get a company started and figuring out everything as I go too. I think once I get everything a little bit more established, it might fall into place a little bit easier, but trying to like get my inventory shipped to the mail center here and like sort through all of that has just been a little crazy, but a good balance. Yeah, I mean, good on you for like still committing to something that you really believe in. Yeah, thank you. So with graduation kind of approaching, you have like little more than one semester left. Yeah. What is the goal for Brooklyn Street beyond that? I really hope to expand it um, kind of to be a full, like more broader, fuller range of clothes, but also in addition to kind of keep it to its core of a media outlook. And I really want it to be a center that girls of kind of teens to middle 20s can come and relate and get the content that they want to see and kind of contribute the content that they want and have a network of like really badass women that like can support them as they go out and try and like figure out their own path. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for being here Thank and sharing so more about much. your company. It's super cool to hear about. Love your stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, our fashion experts Matt and Kit are joined by Brooke Lowry to talk about her pop-up shop and her online boutique, Brooklyn Street. Hello, eTalkers. Welcome to eTalk Style Corner. I'm Matt and this is Kit. We're eTalk's resident fashion experts. Today we are joined by Brooke Lowry, who has started her own online women's boutique called Brooklyn Street. She recently had her own pop-up shop and today she brought in some of her favorite items to share with us. Okay, so let's get right into it. Yes. So the thing that caught my eye when you walked in today was this white sweater Beautiful. with <laughs> this amazing like sleeve design. Isn't and it fun? Definitely. And so my question would be, if you were wearing this, how would you style it? So it's a plain white sweater, yeah. so how are you going to do it up? So definitely like a bralette, a fun like black one, or if you want to even like pull in like a maroon, if you want to add definitely. some color to it. And then just keep it really simple with like some skinny jeans, even like a leggings and like boots type of look. Yeah, it's perfect for fall. Yeah. I love it too, going to yoga as like a throw on sweater over oh. my leggings and sports bra and stuff. Like it really is a versatile thing. And it's great. It's really lightweight. It's really soft. Yeah. It's not super heavy. So it's perfect mm -hmm. for that. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to say the same question, but for this yeah. black blouse you have here, how would you style this? Definitely, I like it for going out. So with some okay. like really dark, maybe like skinny leather pants with it, you Ooh, can throw on a like heel, like maybe that. a red lip. You can get really, really yeah. edgy with it. So how did you pick these pieces? So like what, is this from your personal style or is this inspo? Like when you're picking out pieces like this, where is that coming from? Yeah, a lot of it was inspired by my personal style, um, but also my grandmother. She lived in Los Angeles. I spent all my summers growing up there and she was just such like a classic woman and everything in her closet was just like gorgeous, really high quality pieces that you could mix and match with everything. And I wanted to bring that to all the other girls. Definitely. That's so cool. Definitely. Yeah. What types of clothes do you think you're going to be adding in the future? Like, I know you have a very limited selection now. Like, mm -hmm. what types of clothes do you think you're going to be adding? I definitely want to get into denim. Okay. I <laughs> think denim is a huge part definitely. of my own personal wardrobe. Uh -huh. And I think there's something amazing about, like, a great fitting pair of jeans mm -hmm. and even, like, a great denim jacket. Definitely. So that is my next step. Okay. So you're really planning on expanding. Is there any particular thing that you want to bring in? Any particular style piece? Like, what are you really looking for? For, for the like aesthetic of this brand to be as far as yeah. fashion? I really want it to be clean, simple, easy, and really classic. Yeah. And so I think like it'll always be based around these pieces that you can wear in really Definitely. versatile mm -hmm. ways. But I think it would be fun and it would be true to me to bring in like that really funky leather jacket or funky skirt or something that stands out mm -hmm. that then you can pair with like your classic white sweater or Definitely. like black pants. Awesome. And if I wanted to buy an outfit, how would borrow a piece of your clothing, how would I do that? 
Uh, BrooklynStraight.com is the way to go. Okay, awesome. Perfect. And that's all the time we have this week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and like us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, this is Talk.